Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Journey of a Roach. When we last left off, we basically we saved our friends only to get ourselves captured. So let's see if we can't get out of here. And immediately I see this spoon conveniently located. And looks like there's a I don't know a patch of dirt here, so maybe we can just dig ourselves out. And we can. Excellent. All right, and what do we have here? Well, let's see. I don't think anything bad can happen right now, so... Oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to burn you. Uh, okay, so don't get hit by the fan blades. It looks like we have a switch here, so maybe that will do something. And it turns off the fire for sure. And it also... Okay, it just turns off the fire. And maybe the fan itself. Anyway, moving on. Careful. Ease. Oh! Bugger. Uh, good thing our cockroach. Alright. Let's do this a little better this time. Go. No. Oh, that was close. That was too close to... Okay, so we have one slow moving, one faster. So it's this fan we have to deal with. Time it now. Go, go, go. And how in the heck am I supposed to get past that fan? There's no way. But maybe we can go on the ceiling and avoid it that way. Good. Good, good. Oh, and there's the guy's... There's a guy's hamburger right there. <laughs> that uh, he dropped in the last episode. Alright, and... On to a new area. Okay. Oh, there's the leader. The big boss ant. And our buddy, who's in a barrel. Hopefully it's not too bad of a barrel. Okay, so let's see. Can we, we can interact with that. And it looks like it has a, it's a crane control. Okay, let's see if we can't go save our buddy here. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, back. Back in jail. Fortunately, all these blades are shut off, so I can just easily zip right by them, except for that one, which I can turn off if I went like this. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about that one anymore. Should I get caught again? So since I can't seem to go to the right at all, let's see if I can go up this wall and see if there's anything up here that I can that I can use. It looks like there's this box right here that's kind of precariously leaning over the side, right over this ant, and there's a Swiss Army knife here that I can take. So let's take it. And nice, I think it knocked out that ant. It did. Perfect, so now we have access to the controls. Let's keep exploring up here while we're up here. And... Looks like it's a canister of some type that we can take. And it kind of looks like a gasoline canister. I wonder what that's going to be used for. Oh, why can't we just take a gun and just take out all the ants? I guess I'd be a little too violent for this particular game. Anyway, it looks like I can interact with this, and it's a transmitter tower. Interesting. Huh. All right, well, now we have access to these uh, crane controls here, so let's do something with it. Okay, so we get a nice wide overview of our uh, 
the little uh, zone we're in, our area. There's the uh, leader ant and our buddy. There's the ant that caught us the first time. And it looks like there's another ant over here, too, that could potentially catch us. And way in the back, if you can see it, there's a little uh, grub moving around that we can eat. So first off, we need to make sure that this ant can't see us. So looks like kind of based on... Well, first off, there's six buttons, or oh, seven buttons here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one button that's missing, it looks like. And if we look at the kind of the layout of the floor, there's kind of uh, these squares here that presumably align with the button. So there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, me me matching up with these buttons right here. And this button, I don't know what to do with that yet, because I don't see anywhere that it will line up with. So let's see if we can grab maybe this box back here, or down here, and put it in front of that ant to obstruct his view. And then we'll take, take that box back there and put it in front of that ant. So now he won't be able to see anything, hopefully. And it looks like when we move this first box, it opened up a little pathway down here to lead to huh? an unfortunate soul who got trapped down here while he was mining for something. And there's a mine pick. Not sure why we'd need that at this point in the game, but if we can pick it up, we are going to pick it up. It looks like the leader ant is distracted or something because he doesn't really care about me. And good. That ant doesn't see us either. It looks like there's a nail gun on the floor here. Let's go and pick that up. Oh boy. Oh, nice shot. And he is stuck to... Looks like this is a rocket right here. He's stuck to the rocket. So, excellent. So I think he is no longer a threat to me. Let's see what this lever does. Okay, it opens up a door here. Let's go in. All right, looks like we have a little ca ca cav cavern cavern down here, eh? We have a cavern, and there's a little barrel that I can't reach, and there's our buddy. I remember him from the bar scene. Uh, still don't know what he is. I th I'm presuming he's a rat. And there's his treasure chest that was on his map that we gave him, but it looks like it's locked. Huh, let's see what's back here. Nothing. All right. Then, as always, let's hit up the walls. And this is where we came from. It looks like there's a stalactite, I think is the one that's on the ceilings of caves. Stalactites. Stalactites. And we can't really do anything with it, but we do have this mine pick. Let's see if that will chip this loose. Perfect, and it helped him out. And he gets his... Looks like that's another gas can. Nice. Glad to help you out, buddy. Glad to help you out. Let's get on this... vent. And it's another grub. I'll take it, because I'm hungry. All this wall climbing. And mining. And back here we have some batteries to make another drink, maybe? Hmm. I think that's all we can do here because there's a gap between this box here and I can't move there, so there must be some way of getting across there, so maybe we can figure that out hopefully sooner rather than later. 
And let's see what's up this wall on this side. Okay, looks like it's just a bunch of catwalk type stuff here. And this is the the rail system for the crane. It looks like this is a bridge that's currently up, but we can't cross it. But there are they are they are there are these looks like these ropes that are holding it up. Let's see if we can cut that with our Swiss Army knife. Excellent. Oh, there's another gas can back here. Ah, I see. So we need three gas cans to fuel the rocket. We already have two. So the rat, we have to get his gas can. How we do that, we're not sure. Oh, there's another grub up there. Let's see. So we have to somehow get rid of these ants so we can help our friend and so we can move more freely around. And if I remember from the last uh, couple episodes ago when we talked to that general, the grasshopper, he said that when we needed help to take out the ant army to give him a call on the walkie-talkie. So... Let's give do that. But it's out of batteries, but we have our battery right there. So let's give him a call. No? Huh. Well, let's see if we need to use the transmitter tower to give him a call. And use the walkie-talkie. All right, here he comes. <laughs> nice. There's all our flies that we helped out. And away they go. And he is... No, don't beat up my friend, you jerk. He didn't do anything. Oh, Really? And this door is closed now. How do I get... Back... To... Huh. I wonder if that's what this switch will do. The seventh switch. What happens if we hit this button? Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about your glass. I'll, I'll pay for it. I swear. I'll pay for it. Alright, good. Now all the ants are gone, so we can... move around without getting caught. My first order of business is to get this grub right here. Eat that one. Alright, so what do we have going on now? Okay, looks like there's this mushroom here that we can take. And, oh, there's the other key right there, but I can't reach it. Huh. Well, let's see. If we were to... Hmm. You know, that mushroom kind of looks like these buttons here. I wonder if I can put it in this middle spot. Perfect. Alright, let's click that. And let's grab the leader out of the way. And let's get rid of them. Let's let's put them down this shaft here, or not. I think I might be missing something here. Oh, I see. That was the ant that stole the 
that stole his map. Interesting. Okay, that's why I wanted to beat him up. Okay. So now... We can... Grab... Let's see... Can we grab our friend again? Now that the... Oh, or not? Okay, so we'll grab the throne. Let's see, he is getting boiled. Let's go back up here and see that if now that the uh, throne is up on the by this uh, bridge over here, if we can grab the key, perhaps. And okay, so there's a little winch right there. Not sure why it has that. Hmm. I wonder if I can use the winch to grab my friend out of the the barrel so he doesn't get boil, boiled alive. Let's try it out. Nice. A little Mission Impossible action. And... Oh, he's going in the rocket. Okay. Is that our way out of here, is to go through that rocket? We need fuel, and we only have two... two barrels of fuel. Or two... canisters. Well, we know that the, the rat had one. So let's maybe go down here and see if... we can't get that from the rat. <laughs> ah, nice. I'm glad I could help you out. And it looks like there is my fuel, but I need to get across that green, I'm presuming it's radioactive liquid. So maybe we can uh, grab one of these barrels here. Not barrels, boxes. Let's see how many boxes do we have left. First we have to drop that back down. We have three boxes. Actually before that, I think there was a grub over here that I need to get. Yep, there he is up there. So let's close this up. So we have a flat solid surface. And then place that there. And we'll probably need two boxes. Oops, wrong one. Alright, let's go grab that grub and then we'll drop the box down this shaft here. Can I reach the bug? Come on. Nope. Up. Uppy. Uppy. No, I can't reach him. Hmm. If I only needed two, maybe I need all three of the boxes. Let's try this again. That. And. Okay. <sighs> Guess I need all three.
and okay good for a good measure just leave that up don't need to go back down there and there we go got it I think that was the last of the bugs that I need to eat the grubs so now we just grab that box just put it over here doesn't really matter I don't think We'll have to move all of them. Because that... This hatch won't open with a box on it. So, we'll just leave it like that. Open up the hatch. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> I know. All right, and drop the box down. Perfect. Perfect fit. Now let's go grab that last canister of fuel. I'm glad you're getting a revenge. That can just stay there, I think. Because I don't think we need the crane anymore. Let's go fuel up this rocket. And then go to the key control and launch it. There's one, two, and three. Fully fueled up. And up to the control room here. Now that we've broke the glass, that's our only way in. And let's hit it. Uh oh. Oh, good. Nice. And away we go. And we're taking the amp with us. Uh, you might want to move out of the way, bird. <sighs> well, it looks like all of that adventure was for nothing. We got destroyed by a rocket. Or not, because we're cockroaches, and cockroaches can survive through just about anything. <laughs> nice. That was a fun ride. There's the flower, and it's dead. Oh. Uh oh. Nice. There is a flower. Looks like the world is growing back. One flower at a time. And it's a happy ending for all. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. It was charming, for sure. The characters were fun to interact with, and the design of it was well done. I liked how everything kind of connected up with each other, how one little area led to the next. Uh, I thought the puzzles were were pretty good, actually. I mean, they weren't obscure. You didn't have to think too hard to figure them out. Um, the game was definitely short, but it was 
a good good length. I think if it was any longer, I think it would have just kind of been a little too tedious or a little too dragged out, and it kind of would have lost something, I think. So I think that... Yeah. This was a good little game. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing through it and figuring out the puzzles, and... <laughs> uh, so I'm watching this little montage of uh, pictures of all their adventures. That's funny. Anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I'm looking forward to my next playthrough of whatever that will be. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed Journey of a Roach. And I will see you in the next Let's Play. Until then. And there they are. The world has grown back. Grass and flowers are in abundance. Beautiful.